everybody. I'm Carl Auberger. I am Amy's husband and just had a few words to say about Tom and Cheryl. Um, first of all, I want to thank Tom and Cheryl for welcoming me into your great family. Um, Amy always said that you guys didn't, weren't worried about raising good children, but you wanted to raise good adults. I think I got that right, something like that. But anyway, check, 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 and check. Job well done. Um, I guess my favorite attribute about Tom and Cheryl is their consistency. They're always there when they say they're gonna be there. They always do what they say they're gonna do. And with that consistency comes safety. And I know I'm an anxious person. Amy's an anxious person. And it's so nice to have that, that comfort, that safety in Tom and Cheryl. When our daughter Addie was born, um, Amy's water broke at 21 weeks and we were so scared that we were going to lose her um, and this was about two o'clock in the morning and a phone call was made to Muncie and the first people we saw in the morning were Tom and Cheryl they were two hours away I think they were I think they were at the hospital before the sun came up and always being at the hospital to hold Addie and just be there with her. It's, it's something I know we'll never forget and we love you so much. Happy 50th anniversary. Well, I can tell you just firsthand, I saw your dad two weeks ago at Speedway three weeks ago, right before you guys went on vacation. And I was, I was sitting in the light and I'm like, this light better change before he leaves. Cause I wanted to get over there and talk to him. We talked, had a nice conversation and your parents I like very much and we respect them. Um, I also want to put in that Jim, we just, Jim, we were swimming. So that's why Jenny's in her swim gear. Anyway. Very loving, faith filled. Um, they created a family that of girls who love each other and who are there for each other so um, just they've created a strong family and that would be something that I respect about them and hope yes. that I'm doing with my family of oh, boys <laughs> think of being faith-filled when I think of your parents. I think they have shown us a great example of what two loving people, how they stay together through hard times and work together through difficult family times and um, use their faith to rely on and have raised four beautiful, strong, faith-filled daughters. They've given us all a very good example on how to do that. That's what I think of when it comes to your parents. And kindness. And accepting just the first time you meet them you just feel like you've known them forever and they're just you know bring you in with open arms generosity yeah very very warm very kind people yeah from the first time we met them they were just so welcoming and you know, any friend of my daughter's are friends of ours. It's very loving. Um, I would like to say just a thank you for being who you are and welcoming us into your family's life. I'm just very, very blessed that we got to meet them and know them. Happy anniversary. Yes. Happy anniversary. Christmas.
a lot of things. Um, just how devoted they were to the family um, and just how warm and welcoming they were when everyone first moved on the street and when we first met them it was just like you knew them forever and they were just always asking how everyone was and it was just I love their their sense of family with all you guys. Oh yeah, yeah I, I, it, it's a, like they're part of our neighborhood best friends. Honorary members. Honor, yeah, honorary. <laughs> when they when they were here, they were part of the group, you know, and it, it, it was it was neat. I mean, it was it was very. You don't see that from a lot of parents that, that can step in and feel like you're part of them, and when you see them, you give them a big hug, mm -hmm. and it, it, it's 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 nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, they just are such grateful people. I mean, with everything that, okay, stop. You can cry? No. Okay. I'll, I'll jump in. You know, what, uh, you know, how they handled the whole situation you know, with Christy, I, I mean, it, it, it would be very, very difficult for anybody to ever do that. And to see what they were able to go through and, and handle the, through the whole, you know, scenario what, what was unbelievable. And it, 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 we wish, you know, that it, it, we would have that type of uh, faith and opportunity and if something came up to be able to handle something like that the way they did would, would be phenomenal. Faithful, just um, steadfast, faithful, um, just God-loving people, um, just people that we are inspirations to us for, you know, what they've done and take care of and just um, just been you know good people and just loving people yep ditto that um, I think both of them have been an inspiration to me personally in my life because I started a kind of a different walk with God like three years ago and I uh, I remember being at a baseball tournament and Tom and I had some time together in the car and it came across the fact that we were both in prayer groups and he's just he and Cheryl both have been such an inspiration to me personally in my faith life and he's my brother and we and she's my sister and we say that all the time and um, just them two together uh, are just such a perfect example of a, of a faithful couple who love each other through thick and thin and um, and so it's a loving example for us. We're only Absolutely. half as good right now because we only have 25 years in together. <laughs> yep. But we hope to get to that 50 That's year right. mark. It's like an them, so. or an inspiration for us yep. to get that pinnacle point. So. so, and I personally, I'm just gonna come right to this camera because I have something for that I wrote down um, for Tom and Cheryl. And I just think that there's um, no better way to honor God um, than to walk in love. And the two of you have been such a perfect example of that for 50 years. Um, we've been so honored and blessed to be part of that, just a small part of that, you know, just the last, I guess, I don't know how many years, but um, it's a small portion of that 50 years, but we're very appreciative to have been part of your lives. Um, you're a great example to us, and we admire you and love you. Um, we know that that crazy redhead that we all love is smiling down on you from heaven and she's very proud of you this day. Um, we found this beautiful verse in Paul's letter to the Ephesians that talks about our call to walk in love and it made us think of your walk in this life. Um, this is about your walk of love in your marriage and your, more importantly, your walk of love in serving the Lord together as a couple. So the verse is this, I then, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received with all humility and gentleness and patience, bearing with one another through love. So we're just so excited to be part of your day. Um, you've given your lives to each other and in service to the Lord. And your 50 years together is a beautiful testimony to what you've done, but more importantly, God's love for each of you. Um, we love you bunches and happy 50th. Absolutely. Happy 50th anniversary. Amazing. Absolutely. Yes, they were... I mean, actually, I knew them even before I met them. 
I mean, Christy always talked about them at UD. Sam, are you going to cry? Um, Tom was like a father figure, parent, you know, and um, he brought so much to me as a parent. Um, Cheryl was a decorator. She loved, you know, decorating and it was, um, I guess, one of my moments um, was when they lived off Blue Rock, Ramland, and um, they called me at 11 o'clock at night, you know, wanting to get my opinion. And, you know, Cheryl, I mean, she was, she knew everything, you know, about decorating, but, I mean, I can't say enough. Yep, just great people from the day we met them, and just awesome, and just glad to still be in their lives. Cheryl and Tom, congratulations on 50 wonderful years. Do you remember when we used to sing the song, You Now Are Silver, after 25 years? Well, we've all graduated, haven't we, to 50 years. What a wonderful blessing for you and Tom to look back on these 50 years of good times and hard times, I'm sure, but just knowing that the Lord has gone before you. What a great sister you've been to me, Cheryl, and for Tom, you've always understood and kind of supported us that way out here in Florida, but we know that the Lord has really given both of you wonderful gifts to be friend, gifts of friendship and generosity and just fun loving. Who knows anyone that makes them laugh more than Cheryl Schmidt? I know it's me. And you remember when we'd say in the good times and the hard times, through thick or thin, thick especially around the ankles, a great reminder. But both of you, I hope you have just a wonderful time, enjoy your party, and know that we all celebrate with you from the heart. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye. Thank you for coming to all my basketball games and baseball games, and happy anniversary. Okay. Happy anniversary, Tom and Cheryl. Just wanted to say I love you both. I mean, it's been, uh, uh, well, it's been uh, great over the years with everything you've done and helped out with Christy and uh, the family uh, holidays, the family vacations, and it's been uh, love you both and uh, wish you nothing but the best. and. Look forward to the next uh, 50th anniversary. The one, the one funny memory I have was when um, Christy and I were dating and the first time I came over and met Tom and Cheryl and Tom and I were in the room together, everyone left and Notre Dame football was on TV and I just uh, looked at him and said I can't believe they continue to show Notre Dame every single weekend. And he turned and looked at me and said, I graduated from Notre Dame. <laughs> and I told Chrissy, that's the last time I'm coming to this place. <laughs> so I think that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I just want to say uh, thanks for coming to all my sporting events over the years. Uh, also, vacations and family holidays are always a blast when we're uh, in Muncie uh, and with the with the family, and happy uh, 50th anniversary. Okay, my favorite memory of Grumman DV is going to the Ball State volleyball camp and spending the night at their house all week long. And happy 50th anniversary. Hi parents, happy anniversary. Um, congratulations on 50 years. I know I've always been the favorite, um, so what can I tell you about growing up? 
I remember always going to the mall with mom and eating lunch at Red Lobster, which was a good time. And dad always being home at six o'clock for dinner, telling us funny stories at the table to make us laugh and mowing that ginormous yard. I guess that about wraps it up. Hope you have many more happy years together. Love you. A lot of times when when DB and a lot of other uh, all of us in our family go to the pool, she um she she doesn't like to splash, but when she does splash, she's like, ah, my hair, my hair. But 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 she doesn't. But she. She doesn't want to get her hair messed up, and sometimes she she makes she says like I just got my hair done or something, and that's basically all I have to say. There's sometimes cards and like dominoes and like sometimes you bring like shut the box and you play that some and um. And girl always likes to win uh, card games against kids. That's their thing to do with cards. Happy 50th anniversary, girl. Hope you have the best one that you can ever have. Stupid, stupid hang on. Stupid. Mom and Dad, I just want to say happy anniversary and just thank you for being such wonderful role models to myself and my sisters. Um, you guys have such a great marriage and um, I just feel that watching you throughout the years has helped me become the person that I am today. And I just felt very prepared for life and marriage and um, to be a mom. Um, and I just really appreciate all of those values and morals that you instilled in all of us. and. I just feel that it's carried over and um, I'm very happily married, have three great kids and I just thank you for that. Um, I also thank you for just being great grandparents and I love to watch the boys interact with both of you and they're always looking forward to when you visit to play games and um, just to spend time with you. So I just think those are all great memories. and. Um, great memories for all of us to share. So thank you and happy anniversary. And all right, hey Tom and Cheryl. Uh, first off, I just wanted to thank you again um, for welcoming me into the family so many years ago. Um, you guys have always supported Jenny and I um, in all the decisions we've made. Um, thank you for you know all the time that you spend with us as a family, uh, keeping us together. Um, I know the boys enjoy you know, seeing you and being with you and the time you spend with them, um, it's, it's much appreciated. Um, to thank you for raising such a great daughter. Um, she's definitely changed my life for the better. And uh, Hey, Addie, what do you want to tell Grum and DB on your talker? Mom. Mom. Yeah? What else? Happy anniversary, Grum and DB. I love you. That is very nice. Happy anniversary! We love you! Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> love you. Happy, Happy anniversary, anniversary, Grum and DB. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Grum and Bebe.